Hello, this is Mike Lever from Northern Kentucky University, and you're right, I could not resist. If you were raised in the Flintstones like I was, then you really enjoyed that theme song. And what we've done here is we've built a little Barney car in 2DS Max. We're going to show you how to do that today. Um, uh, a few months ago, maybe a few years ago, uh, Carlos, uh, the brainchild of Paper Vision, released a cute little sports car. And uh, John Lindquist took that and put it on his site and released the code. And uh, it's great. You can use that code to bring any vehicle into uh, Paper Vision and control its uh, different parts. But the one thing they didn't show how to do was actually how to create one of these models in 3ds Max and actually how to name the different parts and use linkage so you can control the, the movement of the tires and the car. And so we're going to show you how to do that and how to export that in a Carlotta file. Now what's great here is I'm in 3ds Max. You're not going to need any special uh, exporters. You're just going to use the regular Carlotta 1.4 exporter that's in 3ds Max 8. And we're just going to export this and it's going to run. Now I know there's a lot of problems out there and frustrations with Carlotta. But it's a great format. It's just some of the uh, standards aren't completely uniform with all the different exporters. And so you, you need to work a little bit sometimes to get it in. It's, you need to learn a little bit about Carlotta and what, how it's made. Sometimes actually go in and manually edit it as well. But today you don't have to do that. Just use the 1.4 Explorer found in 3ds Max 8. And we're going to build this car right now. So let's go to another screen. Build a scaled down model and show you how to name your different parts so you can refer to them in your Carlotta file. Let's do that right So we're in 3ds Max. I'm going to hit this little button here and I'm going to bring out a cylinder to the stage. Let's do that real quick. And this will be our car body. And we'll hit our E key and rotate that over 90 degrees. There we go. Pretty easy. W key to bring that up and position it. Well, that's the car body. And what we'll make sure that we do is here in name and color, let's go ahead and call this car body. And that's the actual name that you're going to refer to in the Carlotta file. Remember that. And when I go to, and when we export the Carlotta file, I'll show you that name. Now, one of the things I've done, I've hit the 7 key on the uh, 3ds Max uh, keyboard, on my keyboard. And you can see what I'm doing right here is I can actually see the polygon count. So I'm actually watching that polygon count as I build my model. Pretty cool. All right, let's come along here now and add some tires. We want four tires. So let's go ahead and hit a cylinder again. So this car was pretty much just a bunch of cylinders. Bring that up a little bit for a tire. Let's hit our W key and rotate, no, excuse me, our E key and rotate 90 degrees. Boom. And there's a tire, and I can make four of them. Now, real quick here, uh, I want to expand that a little bit, so hit your R. There we go. Let's expand that tire. So it's about the size we want it. And now we're just going to make four of them and put them in place with the W key. I can hit the Shift D key, and when I do that, I can make a copy just by dragging. There you go. And now what you want to do is choose copy, not instance and not reference, because you want it to be individual copy. It'll take all the characteristics of the other one, but when you change this, it won't uh, bother the other one. So I can go ahead and now come along here and uh, let's see, click, Control, click, and just move both of these around into position. Now, I'm not using a mouse right now, so I'm going to use my touchpad. So I'm going to hit Control-R to arc rotate around to make sure everything is cool. Pretty good. Now, real quick here, if you're in uh, 3ds Max 9, of course, there's this little cube that you can use to do all this with, but we'll just go with this. I want to go ahead and hit the W key and copy those as well. So I'm going to hit Shift-D and just translate over. And there you have it. I have four, four tires. Once again, make a copy. Now I have my four tires and I need to reference those tires so I can actually grab them in the Carlotta file and spin them and control them however I want. So they each have to have their own individual name. So we'll just call this the front of the car here. I'm going to go to my, dub, my, Q, oh. excuse me, my Q key here, escape and then Q, get my pointer. Just click on one so I can select it. And so over here, let's give it a name. And so we'll call this the front left wheel. Okay. Then I need to come over here and give this one a name. We'll call this the front right wheel. And then I want to give this one a name. And we'll call this the rear the rear left wheel. Good. And the last one we'll call this the um, rear right wheel. And that's all you have to do to control it. I mean, now I can actually go in there and uh, export a Carlotta file and uh, refer to these names and uh, control these from within Paper Vision. <laughs> it's that simple. Now, there's one more thing we need to do and actually work with the front wheel so we can get some steering going. So we need to use something called linkage. And I'm going to show you how to do that in one moment. 
So before we move on, I want to talk about the concept of linkage. It's really important in 3ds Max, and you'll go a long way with it in paper vision. I'm going to bring a, a box on the screen. This is how Carlos actually was able to get his tires to steer. And I want to come along here and bring in a sphere. There we go. And what I want to do is I, I want to control the motion of that sphere as I move the box. So what I'm going to do here is use the concept of linkage. And it's very simple. All I have to do is come along here to this. And it's very simple. All I have to do is come along here and hit this linkage button along here. And just drag to what you want to link to. Boom! And it lights up temporarily to show you it's been linked. Isn't that pretty cool? Now let's do a rotation and see what happens. So I'm actually going to hit my Q key and select that. I'm going to hit my E key to rotate and let's rotate. And you see what happens? Look, the ball is linked to the to the cube. So whenever I rotate around, it's linked. Now, let's try clicking on that. You see the ball rotates independently. And so let's just talk about how that works with a tire. Pull up a tire and it's disc brake right here. So here's the tire and here's a disc brake. And what I want to do is I actually want this tire to spin, but I also want it to rotate uh, with respect to, in this case, it's a z-axis because you see your blue right here. So the way to do that is to link the tire to the disc brake. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm going to come along here and grab the tire. I'm going to hit my linkage button right here, and I'm just going to link to that disc brake. When I let go, you see it highlights temporarily to show it's been linked. And now what happens is my tire can spin independently. So now let's go ahead and select the tire, and it can rotate independently. So if I hit the, uh, the uh, E key to rotate, you can see it's sp it can spin here. But one of the problems happens, if I don't link this, I can't. there's no way to turn it. Because if you try to spin and turn at the same time, it'll just go all whack out. So you want to actually link it to this, which we've done. And you see as we turn that, the tire can turn and steer. So all I have to do in 3ds Max now is make sure each one of these have individual names. So this would be my tire, and maybe this is my uh, front right wheel. And this could be my disc brake. And so I want to call that, for example, uh, front right steer. OK, so let's go back, bring up the original Barney car, and show you how all these pieces go together. So if you want to learn more about modeling, just go to my book's blog, professionalpapervision.wordpress.com. And I have tons of tutorials on there on how to use 3ds Max and Blender and SketchUp and all the major modeling programs. And so let's take a look at each one of these parts. So if I click on this right here, let's see my Q button, click on that we can see that the name is car body. Let's come along here and click on each one of the individual tires. Let's control R around. And just watch the name change here as I click on the different tires. That's front right wheel, front left wheel, rear right wheel, rear left wheel. And let's do a little rotate up here and zoom in. Okay, we're zoomed in now, and we're going to click on uh, some of these things. And there's that brake right there, and I'm going to use that to steer my car with. So if you look at that, that says steer front right, and the other one is steer front left. And so these are linked together. So I link this tire to, this, to the brake. So as I turn the brake, then the tire turns with it. But I can also get free rotation because it's linked. And right, same thing on this one, it's linked to the tires linked to that. So as the tire will t rotate freely in one direction, but in the other pivot axis, this disc brake, in a sense, does the pivoting because the tire is a link. So when that turns, the tire turns with it. And that's all there is to it. You just need to name it. And so let's do the last part. We're going to export this. Just go to File, Export, and I'm just going to choose Colada. And <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? That's all there is to it. And what you want to do here is go mm -hmm. ahead. You don't need baked matrices. Uh, you do want relatives pass, so your images are picked up with reference to your file. Uh, normals and triangles, I always use those. And you don't need to enable uh, animation. So that's all you need. Hit OK. And let's open up the Colada file and take a look at those names. So I've opened up my Colada file in Dreamweaver. Now you can open it up in Flex as well. And I want to take a look at that Colada file and show you where these names are. And we're going to go down to the visual libraries. Now Colada's organized in a series of libraries, so geometry libraries, animation libraries, physics libraries, light libraries, camera libraries, and uh, we're going to look at the visual scene libraries, and we'll be able to see all our nodes there. So let's go on down to visual scenes libraries. So here's the visual scenes library, and right here is the car body, and see it says name car body. Let's go on a little bit lower. Right here you can see steer front right. A little bit lower, steer front right wheel. 
And if you keep going through this, you'll see all the names that I put into 3ds Max. So the real key is just pretty much just naming your objects, and then you can go back and you can refer to those or pull those out in the code uh, that you can see in John's site or you can see on my book site. Uh, on how this was created. So all this is included in the blog. Take a look at the code, and if you want more explanation, go ahead and buy the book. It's in Chapter 5, and we show you how to build a car right there.